This is a brief tutorial on how to read and understand the Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew Lexicon. If you open the Lexicon browser window, this is the search bar at the top. You can type in Hebrew consonants to get a list of the words, or you can access it by right-clicking on a word in the Hebrew text and choose Look Up in Lexicon Browser. Either way, once you've chosen the word that you want, the first thing that you get is a Bible Works number, followed by the lemma followed by a page number in the printed edition, and then the Strong's number is 3824. That's all extraneous information that uh, BibleWorks has added in to let you be able to cite this like you would cite a paper source, and to correlate it to Strong's numbers. The entry itself begins properly on the next line. The cross symbol indicates that all of the occurrences of this word are cited inside the reference. Then comes the lemma, followed by Bible uh, BDB's count of the total number of times that this word shows up in the Old Testament. Then we get its parsing, it's a noun, it's masculine. A key text, along with some uh, basic glosses that uh, are not definitions, but glosses. Then following the M dash come forms of the word that occur in the Old Testament. So between the first M dash and the second M dash, we get the absolute the construct with a first person singular suffix, uh, how many times that example of that, and how many additional times, 24 more times, with a second masculine singular suffix, 35 times plus that verse, uh, and uh, all the various ways in which that form may appear in the Old Testament. Following the second M dash, we get the beginning of the description of the senses itself. Uh, the inner, middle, or central part, and then comes a Roman numeral one, uh, identifying in this case uh, the central or middle part of a thing, for example, seas and heaven. Second Roman numeral, usually of men, and then uh, the senses under that Roman numeral are enumerated in uh, Arabic numerals. The inner man, in contrast to the outer, the inner man, indefinitely the soul, and so on. And a good number of references that support that sense. That's number two was right here. The next sense is number three, with specific reference to mind. And then number three is itself subdivided into uh, additional uses. So there's letter A's, B, C, D, and then we get a fourth sense under number two. Five, six. Uh, six is subdivided into multiple subsenses. Seven, the man himself. Eight. 9 and 10. So 10 total senses under uh, the use of Levav in reference to persons. Uh, the fact that there's so much Hebrew cited in a BDB entry can often be uh, overwhelming to the first year student. Uh, however, let me point out that in general, if the, the word that's being talked about, Levav in this instance, is uh, going to occur in the entry, it's common for that word to be abbreviated with a uh, right-leaning apostrophe-looking item. So, this maskiot levav, levav is abbreviated. Now, you may not have known that you can actually search in these BDB entries if you'd like to see if a particular reference or a particular word occurs. Let's say I'm interested in knowing does the word shalem, because I'm studying shalem lev or shalem levav, does the word shalem occur here? Well, under the edit menu I can choose search. I can specify the language. In this case I want to choose Hebrew. I type in the consonants that I'm looking for and I choose Find Next. Immediately finds an instance of 
Sheen, Lameth, Maine, Shalem, and Perfect Heart here. And gives me all the references where that phrase occurs. On the other hand, if I wanted to look up Shalem and uh, see where it references Levav, I could pull up the Shalem entry, hit Edit, Search, type in LBB, Levav, and I immediately find Levav Shalem Im Yahweh. Here, Yahweh is always abbreviated in the lexicon as Yod, followed by the apostrophe. And they define that as a mind at peace with Yahweh, keeping covenant relationship, hence complete or perfect, and give additional references. So that gives you a basic understanding of how to read and search within the Brown Driver Briggs lexicon and Bible works. If you'd like to understand more about the abbreviations that they use in their entries, you can come up and instead of having title page here, if you choose abbreviations, it'll take you directly to the abbreviations page. It's rather lengthy, and so if you click in here and hit Control F, it'll allow you to uh, search. So let's, for example, I saw the abbreviation GIE, wasn't sure. Um, if you choose whole word only, that will avoid getting partial words. And I see that GIE equals F Giesebrecht. And I would have to look him up to find out what exactly, who exactly he was and what he wrote. So additional title page information and preface information is available here as well. Hopefully that orients you to the Brown Driver Briggs lexicon. If you have any additional questions, feel free to email me.